say state your questions on the game? Would you like to start? Yeah, well, it's in today's market, uh, uh, I think we got a good deal. I think, obviously, uh, he's come in and done really well. He's, uh, he's give everyone a boost. So, so it means more than just getting a player in. You can see the supporters. They're used to uh, players with that personality, mentality and quality. So he's been a big plus. Can you, say, can you, can you sometimes sense all the players who just feel that home in the shirt, that the time that people can be cowed, but he didn't look today, he looked like he embraced it. Oh, he, he's come in from day one and first minute and felt like a presence in the group and uh, first training session demanding the ball. Some some players take some time in, uh, you know, warming up, but he felt uh, confident straight away. It's a bit of a mix between Skolt and Veron, to be fair, and uh, he's got uh, that uh, temperament maybe of Veron and uh, a lot of the quality of, of the, him and Skolt as well. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been known for his set plays, so and he scored quite a few penalties and he, he's practiced a few uh, the last few days. And I wasn't I wasn't uh, doubting his uh, what kind of penalty he was going to do. Well, uh, he's, he's he's here now, and he's one of the pieces that we're trying to put together. And he's he's a big, big piece in it, and it's an important piece because we're getting towards the how do you say important the business end of the field. We've spent with Harry and Aaron. I think they've done fantastic, and now we're we've uh, got this uh, the number ten or attacking midfielder role. Uh, Nailed, nailed down. Hopefully, he'll, he'll keep fit and keep producing performances. Is that position, then, in the is that well, he's a box. He's, he's a box to box midfielder. He can do everything a midfielder can do. Like similar to, as I said, Veron and Scholes. Some games he'll play in a two. Some play. Some games he'll play attacking midfield. Some games he'll be a ten. Uh, he, he's played every every position in midfield. So uh, yeah. 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 No, I'm delighted with the week uh, Anthony has had. He's got his critics, and I'm one of his uh, biggest probably because uh, uh, I keep demanding different stuff from him. But this week he's come up with a number nine centre forwards goal header against Chelsea. He. Did everything uh, to get the goal against Bruges, defending, winning the ball, running through. And this today is the more the Anthony we know about the skill, because that is just mind blowing. Uh, sometimes the the skills he shows. Well, I want more. I want more from him, and I'll keep keep at him. Well, you mentioned Veron. Um, sorry, you mentioned Veron. Yep. What makes you confident that Bruno won't not exactly tear off like he did, but he's never really truly settled with the club. Well, it's uh, he's uh, he's going to be a very important part, and he's he's come in to be a a very important player for us because we've needed that type of player. So he knows he's here to uh, to play, uh, and uh, we're going to give him. And one of the good things about him, he he risks the ball like Veron did. To be fair, I I used to love to play with Seba because you can make runs and you'll get the ball. And if it doesn't hit you, at least he's looking for you. And that's what Bruno does. So now that will encourage players to make more runs, I hope, because there's not enough of them still. Well, no, you were up after four minutes today and shouting a bit. Did you have to wake them up? Cause the that was two minutes too late because the start we had was absolutely a shambles because that chance we give him after two minutes with uh, Harry and Nemanja just took okay then. If we'd conceded that one, added to the one we conceded against Bruges, that would have been two calamity goals. But Luke did fantastic. I think Luke's performance today was absolutely top. And uh, they needed waking up, or we needed to just settle the game. And the more the game went on, fitter, stronger we looked, uh, more spaces opened up, and we 
we've we found Bruno, we found Dan James, uh, Mason. Uh, after 20, 25 minutes, he really grew into the game. Well, we picked this squad of 18 that we felt uh, covered all bases today with uh, uh, obviously with the starting 11. Then you have two defenders, two midfielders and two, uh, two forwards, a wide man and a striker. So that's, um, that was the decision made. Well, the whole team didn't play really well against Bruges. We can only be better on Thursday. Well, there are more and more competition for places, so of course uh, your standard has to has to improve. And that's what I'm saying here about Anthony as well. I'm I want more from him, uh, not not just the ones who weren't playing. I want more from everyone because we need to be more consistent and we need to uh, kick on. And uh, this week has been a good one. Well, I hope so, because it's a big game. There's, but there's four big league games coming up. Everton, City, uh, Tottenham, then Sheffield United. So, very, very important month for us in the league. Um, then we have Europe on Thursday, so I, I've got to think about that one first. How do you describe what Mason's doing? You know, it was a brilliant game today. It's yeah. Well, he's the best finisher we have. Uh, and he's one of the best I've seen. Uh, right foot, left foot, doesn't matter. He uh, he knows how to score goals. That's what he's done done all his life. He's just got to do things a bit quicker now. And But the ball goes in if you hit the post and in or in the corner. It doesn't matter if it's an under-18 keeper or a Premier League keeper. He's, he's just so sharp when it comes in and around the goal. What pleased me most about, or not most, but more about Mason today is... His link up play, his switches of play. He's, he found Dan James a few times from right wing out to left wing, and uh, he's just improving more and more. But that goal scoring knack, he'll never lose that. Will we see more of him in this sort of yeah, if he keeps if he keeps fit, it's oh, yeah. up to him. <laughs> Are you happy with his work rate? Because it, it looked like he changed in the second half. He worked harder than the first half. Was maybe a bit off in that, in that respect. I think the whole team first half looked a bit leggy and a bit slow and. Uh, we didn't really uh, play the way Manny... We didn't react quick enough. When we won the ball, we slowed it down. That's not us. That's not us at all. When we win the ball, we should go quickly. And uh, that's one of the worst things I see. And you know me more than the rest of the, rest of the lads here. I want the ball to go forward quicker. Do you think, do you think one of the things with, with Mason Polly is the young player who's come into the team, scoring <coughs> those goals, that's, you know, challenging for the title and stuff, Yeah, well, the whole season he's had says a lot for him, uh, and he's uh, he's just going to be better and better. But he's he's only eighteen. We've got to remember that, and he's not uh, uh, he's still not fully grown in his body. He's not like Wayne Rooney at eighteen. So he, he's got a lot of development, and he's got a body uh, still a young body, uh, and he'll in a couple of years' time he'll be a well, more or less the the complete number nine or a forward, to be fair. What did you say there? <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'll, I'll switch over to this side. Yeah. Sorry. You forgot. You forgot your question. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Luke's been excellent when he's played in that position. Uh, he's got more options outside and inside. I think it, that line sometimes closes him off, and he he can he goes back too too often as a fullback. So uh, today as well, the two or three four, four times when he surges forward, he's unstoppable, and he should do that more. I keep encouraging him to do more of what they're good at, and uh, uh, when. They listen. Uh, will be a good team. Is there anything you can do with Mason's? 
Yeah. yeah. Instance, Give him time yeah. because it's going to be. It, it'll be. That's just natural. Uh, it's. He's 18 now. He'll still fill out more his upper body, his legs. He'll. He'll. He's now starting to get uh, a man's body, but it'll take a couple of years because uh, you can't do that too uh, too early either. Okay. I'll just answer just one quick question on on Adina Gallo. Yeah. Um, when he was at Watford, he was famous for the Igalo scoop or yep. shot move. Has there been any talk of it or any um, presence of it? Yeah, we've seen it yet? seen it in training. He's probably learned that off Canu because uh, uh, it's a it's a difficult skill to defend. But uh, I read the program today that uh, Troy Deeney was going to find anyone who went for that uh, scoop. So uh, now he'll. He's already come in and made a positive impact in training and uh, put even just given a chance for me to rest Anthony for half an hour here and 20 minutes there. It's, it's important then, but he, he's a sniffer. He sniffs today as well. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper by just anticipation, so he'll, he'll score a goal soon. Okay, guys, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.